changed my mind because I just uh, wanted to say that one of the delights of doing it this way, and i uh, tell you the truth, this is the first time I've done the every third one method. Previously I've just hung them in a row and sorted them out afterwards, um, but it's at the request of the technician I'm doing this for that I have them as passively well fit without um, without burning as possible. And um, the thing about this is I can see all of the hammers that I've hung really well. I can see where their tails are. I can see where their um, where their back shoulder is. If I suspect anything about them, I can check it out. And I have room to work. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's less likely that I'm going to get glue on something or bump into it and change its position or lose sight of where I am in the squareness of things. And um, once I take the camera off myself and get into rhythm, uh, it will go very quickly. Now I've got to move that one up out of the way because the next one is only two hammers away. And the hammer square to light is a pretty tight fit uh, with only one hammer in between. So I think I will take us right into the setting up for the next section. At the risk of it being a longer video. Let me see if I can get these guys out of the way. Just like this, get my next shanks out of the way. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pull this back and move my protective gear and my lighting over. And I'm going to center this and extend it out. And I'm going to let the support rail down so that I can set up its samples to strike. Now, in fact, um, since there's a discrepancy between the new hammers and the old hammers, I'm going to actually. Um, set up the new hammers at strike and uh, so I'm going to have to take a break and, and do that but this is what I will do with the new hammers in place once I've sorted that out make sure I'm in the track here there we go I just take the rail and I lift the hammers up to the template. Of course it would help if my squaring platform was tight. 
and I would have adjusted to the tails first. Okay, let me just do that. And I test the tails. Well, actually, I've got to bring them up to height in order to do the tails. So, up to height. Now, I can fine tune the tails. Okay, but as I say, I'm going to do it with the new hammers. Uh, in my dry fit.